Okay, what's up guys? This is Armin with Armin Asejo Photography and I got a special request from uh, Pedro Vilar to show, uh, to make a video of how I do some of my post-processing and uh, big shout out to him for actually paying for the uh, software for me to do this. So uh, here we go. Um, first time I've done this so please bear with me. Uh, as you can see here, uh, these are uh, two pictures of my Audi that I took uh, on a tripod uh, but the polarization is different <clears throat> for both the glass on the windshield here and for the side of the car here as you can see. So what I'm going to demonstrate in this uh, short video is how to merge these two together and have it polarized for both the side of the car and the windshield and I'm also going to darken the sky a little bit because it is a little bright. So it's actually pretty simple. This is a quick and dirty easy way to do it. Uh, first thing I want to do is I'm going to copy and paste one of these photos on top of the other one. Uh, first one I'm going to do, since I'm going to keep the sky and the ground uh, from probably, uh, I'd say, uh, this shot, is I'm going to copy and paste this one on top of that one. So I'm going to select all here, and I'll do copy, and I'll switch to the next one and just go paste. Now this is important because uh, I, I took a picture of this on my tripod, so that's why the car is not going to move in this shot at all. Uh, this is not really something you can do handheld, so uh, you know you could try it, but your results probably won't be very good. Uh, of course, since I just covered the version that has the uh, windshield uh, polarized, uh, I actually want to see that now uh, and and actually reveal that. So the easiest way to do this, guys is to just take the eraser tool here and you want to use a brush that is uh, a soft feather brush like this and that size isn't very big so I'm gonna increase this up here a little bit that seems good enough for, for this demonstration and I'm just gonna erase away where the polarized areas would have been so uh, just so you can see that's how it looks uh, without the other one uh, pasted on top of it so I'll reveal that again and I'm just going to erase away and as you can see it's going to reveal what's underneath and you can see that uh, the polarization here on the windshield is coming through now of course it's important I don't want to erase away all of it uh, on the side because I want to keep the side so I'm just doing the windshield at this point and that's how that's going to show up you can see the difference if I make the background uh, disappear because that's that's the one that is actually showing through now and you can see I can use this as, as a guide to kind of, you know, do a little more touch up to the sides and things like that. But that was a pretty, pretty uh, <clears throat> quick and dirty way to do that. Uh, you'll also notice here that on the, on the tires, it's actually really uh, bland now since the tires, is, the tire shine has been polarized. It's, it's nice and dark, but we do want a little bit of shine just to show through. Uh, in comparison, you can see the shine coming through there. So I'm going to do the same thing uh, on the tires, and I'm going to erase it with a smaller brush. I'll just go around the edge of the, the tire like this. Pretty simple. And I'll do the same on the back, but you can't really tell so much just because it's on the back. And there you go. You've got a polarized windshield, you got a polarized side. That one's pretty simple. Uh, now, uh, we want to do, we want to make sure that the the sky here is darkened a little bit because I did blow it out a bit, of course, with my experimenting with the, the nice wide angle. So the easiest way to do this is to actually add a blank layer on top. So we'll do a blank layer. And then here on the right side, you'll see our, our layer mode here. And I'm going to switch this to soft light. And what this does is it'll let me use a black brush and it'll actually darken it. It's kind of like dodging. I'm sorry, it's kind of like burning, not dodging. Uh, but it's a different method because I have a little more uh, control over how dark I want it to be. Uh, I'll then take a brush, uh, make it a little bit bigger, so we'll use a bigger brush. Uh, it's a little too small still, because we're just going to do the whole sky here. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, a lot of times you'll want to change this flow here so that you can control how much. Uh, you can start with something as low as 10. And once you start painting on there, you can see you can see the sky starting to darken a little bit. Um, 
of course, you know, the more you paint over it, the more it's going to show up. So just so you can see what that layer looks like by itself, I'm going to make these two disappear, and you can see that. If I want to make it really dark, of course, I want to keep painting over it until it's just completely black. And then when I show everything here, you'll see how dark it gets. So if I increase this flow all the way up to 100%, I'll just paint the whole sky, and you can see how dark it gets after that. And you can use this method not just on the sky, but even on parts of the car, on headlights, on, on other things, just to, just to darken them a little bit. Um, you can also do the same thing, uh, like on if you want to give it a little your own custom vignetting thing, kind of goes around a circle like this. Obviously, you can see how dark it gets, and you can go really overboard with it, and I don't recommend that. So I'm just going to undo that real quick. But you can see how that worked, at least on the sky here, and I've, I've darkened the trees a little bit, and I don't necessarily want to do that. Um, if I make a mistake with this, all I have to do is go over here, switch it to white, and it'll undo most of what I've done there. And actually, bright white white will actually uh, act more like a dodge, if anything else. Uh, the other method you can do is just use the erase tool and just get rid of what you did. So I'm gonna use that. Uh, sorry, the erase over here, and I'll make another big brush for that, and I'll just erase away all the stuff I did. So then it's back to how it was originally. But let's go back to the black here. I'm going to paint over that. I want to make it dark. Uh, let's say uh, this edge over here, for whatever reason, I want to make it lighter. So I'll switch that to white. And I can brighten it up just a tad. But of course, you know, the, with the different flow level is, is what how bright that's going to be. So if I undo that, I'll change this to say like 20%. Just, just a little light bright, a brush stroke like this, and it'll lighten the areas, like so. And yeah, that's really pretty much it. Uh, I mean, this was only like less than five minutes worth of work, and it's already done. So it actually is really easy. Uh, hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, of course, it's Armin Alsejo Photography. That's A-R-M-I-N-A-U-S-E-J-O dot com. Until next time.